going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's farm some news, baby. Today's Sid Monning talks about his X9 combine and the 9030 series. J.A. Monning's got new screenshots of his Massey Ferguson. J.H.H.G. Monning has two new fact sheets for us. Dutch Monning Inc. talk about two mods that they've been trying to get on consoles. Nathan is back with new information on Metagrove Extended. Plus, Oxygen David is working on something really cool that's going to change the way he makes maps forever. Let's check it out. Yesterday, the Farm Sim Show returned after two weeks on break, and we had none other than Farmer Cop as our special guest. We talk about Farming Simulator 22, mods to look forward to, and much more. Oh yeah, and Farmer Cop even showed his face. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. Moving into today's top stories, and we start with Sid Monning and their John Deere X9 Combine Harvester. Lots of you have been asking about it, and he even posted late yesterday that the update had quote unquote completed testing. But what does that actually mean? It was never released, so where is it? Well, there could be one of two things that happen. The mod has either passed testing and will be released on Monday, or it is failed testing. Either way, at least the update has gone through its first round of testing. This update brings the addition of the European version to the game, as well as various improvements and fixes to the mod. Stay tuned as I'll let you know once we know exactly what testing completed means with the John Deere X9. Oh yeah, and we also got some new information on his upcoming John Deere 9030 series too. He says that is currently his most requested mod in the John Deere family since the release of the X9 Combine. He has worked on this mod for the past few days and has added normal maps, fixed the model, added new models with more details, added screws, fixed the lights, fix the stickers, and improve the scale model. The mod is still being worked on right now, but has been made for all platforms. So once it is released, everyone will be able to enjoy it. Next up, J.A. Monning brings us new screenshots and information on their Massey Ferguson tractor mod, saying that it is a mod that was originally made by Teak Monning, but they had to stop modding. So J.A. Monning took it over. The model itself was already done, but it will be getting an overhaul with some adjustments to the model tweaks and things like that so that it is more faithful to the real life model which by the way hasn't even been announced yet what is this thing as many details as possible will be added to it to make sure that it is true to the real life form and to be as true and well as it can be in farm sim the goal of this tractor is said to be and i quote make your game as cool as possible i love it i'll bring you guys more information on this mod once it is released JHHG Modding has released some new fact sheets for their John Deere 1720 16R30 and their 1720 12R36 planters, starting off today with the 16R30. This is going to cost you $68,905 as working with 12.2 meters, requires 190 horsepower, holds between 896 liters and 1696 liters total of seed solid fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, and herbicide, and will plant at 15 kilometers or around nine miles per hour, and will plant corn, sunflowers, soybeans, sugar beets, and cotton. Next is the 12R36, which is already in game, but this is gonna be a big update. This is gonna cost you $59,500, as a working width of 11 meters, requires 190 horsepower, holds between 677 liters and 1,272 liters of seed, solid fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, and herbicide. Just like previous, it will plant 15 kilometers, or around nine miles per hour, corn, sunflowers, soybeans, sugar beets, and cotton. These both are being made for all platforms and are almost ready to be sent off for testing. We hear from Dutch Modding Inc. today saying that they have tried to get the Dewport and Kilmac mods onto consoles with the real brand names, but it will not be happening. Giants are now working 100% on Farming Simulator 22 and will not be adding any more new brands in the form of mods or anything else into Farming Simulator 19. So releasing mods, just not anything new brand wise. So therefore, they're working to see if these mods can be released as Lizard or DMI Metalworks, Dutch's custom brand, as new mods for console players. It is still up in the air if these will be accepted or not, but I will let you know if we hear anything else. 
Dutch Modding Inc. always does a fantastic job and are some of the most realistic modders out there. I love these guys. And I would love for you to be able to play with all of their mods at Farm Sim 19 if you're on console. Nathan6930 is back with us today after a long time away and talks about what's going on with the Meadow Grove extended version. He says that this past week he's been working on it, adding some new details and changing some parts that he didn't like. But so far, he is pretty happy with it and plans to get this map to his testers soon. In these screenshots, you can see the addition of foliage details around the map to make it look more alive, but there's still much more that needs to be done. There's two traffic splines left to add, more details, and check for errors. Meadow Grove isn't a huge map to begin with, so this should be extending it out to fill out all the available space on a 2x map. If you guys want to stay up to date with everything that Nathan's been working on, check him out at the link below. And lastly, today we hear from Oxygen David on the map that he started to make for Farming Simulator 22, Cord Farms Country Park. He says that he has come up with a new way of creating realistic DEM maps. He can now get accurate terrain height information using a plugin on Blender to create accurate, realistic scenery in the map and outside of it. Each template is using a 4K texture for the highest possible Google satellite imagery well, possible. He then creates a depth map for each template to make the texture stand out even more and be more 3D and lifelike. Oxygen David will also be getting accurate building data and adding low poly models around the border of the map to make it look much more interesting and lifelike. All of this works together to create the most seamless, accurate map borders and terrain possible. He says it will even surpass Comston in realism. That's insane. He finishes by saying that the PDA map has also been finalized now so that you can see the many interesting small and medium sized fields on this map with lots of areas for cell points, farms, storage areas, and things like that, and much more. All of this together will help him to create one of the most realistic and best maps that we've ever seen in Farming Simulator, and it will just be the very beginning for the next edition in the Farming Simulator franchise. And these outros are just the beginning of the end for these videos. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fan. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. I am working on the studio right now. I've got the gaming set up there and the second channel setup should be finished by the end of today. If you guys would like to see progress on it, check out my Instagram. We'll leave a link to that in the description below. All being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace! Yo, I was up until 11 p.m. last night working on the new studio, but it is looking fresh.